Hey guys, welcome back to the Wadoc Project 365, episode 718. Today what we're gonna do is a modified windmill, and I've been introduced to this concept through Dr. Eric Goodman. He's a, a guy that teaches a course that's called Foundation Training, so make sure you look that up if you're interested in what we're doing today. But what I found that this technique is really good for is opening up that adductor region, that groin region that we call, um, that we commonly call it, and um, it's a limiting factor in many people's squats. Yesterday I did something on what we call the butt wink, and that's like when their tailbone tucks underneath us when we're dipping down into a squat, we fall under like that. One of the limiting factors of that often is those muscles that are on the inner thigh. So. What we're gonna do is a technique that doesn't necessarily look like we're stretching our thigh, but when we get into it, you'll see very quickly that we do, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna find any wall, okay, and we wanna be about a hands width away, okay? You're gonna do this on both sides, I'm just gonna show you one side. The first thing that we're gonna do is bring our feet about three feet apart. You want, it to be, you want them to be wide, but you still wanna be comfortable, so you're not gonna spread them apart too far in which you lose balance, okay? From right there, what we're going to do is we're going to dig uh, the outside edges of our feet into the ground as we pull inwards. So basically, I always I think about this as if I was on a if I was on a ice surface, I would be able to pull my feet together and stand straight back up. That's the tension that I'm going to have on the inner leg there. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform a hip hinge. So I'm going to push my butt back as my head kind of comes forward. I'm never losing any length in the spine here. So I'm not collapsing down like this. I'm staying nice and tall, all right? And I'm waiting for those hamstrings to kind of catch. And as those hamstring catch, catch as I, if I'm continuing to contract inwards, I'm going to feel a nice little stretch in here as well. Once I get to whatever location that is for me, some people are more flexible, they can get all the way down to the ground, but for me, it's gonna be right here. For most of you, it's also going to be right here. Uh, maybe even just a, a minor, a little bit lower, a little bit higher. What I do here is I reach out and I grab the wall. That gives me just a little bit of support here, okay? And now what I'm gonna do is what we call a trace. So I'm gonna take, in this case, my left hand, if I was going the other way and reaching uh, with my right hand, I would, I would do it the opposite way. But I'm going to take this hand, I'm going to trace and lead my elbow backwards, okay? So my elbow's coming back like if I'm drawing a bow. So I trace all the way up to my bicep, all the way across my chest. I'm going to look and reach towards the ceiling. I'm not going past 90 degrees or vertical here. But what I want to think about is I want to think about driving with my hips so my knees don't cave in, they stay out and I continue to pull inwards, but I'm thinking about driving that movement in with my hips and what I'm going to feel a lot of is this big groin stretch right here. When I get into this position, we're going to stay and hold that tense position for 30 seconds, okay? So let me just show it to you one more time. I start out uh, with my feet wide, about three feet apart. I have a little bit of pressure in as I dig the outsides of my feet um, into the ground. From right there, I hip hinge back. I stay nice and long through the torso. I get to whatever point that is in which I, I feel my hamstrings catch. I still have inward pressure. I'm going to reach out to the wall. I'm going to begin my trace all the way up like if I'm drawing a bow. I reach out and as I reach, I'm just trying to get really, really tall here, staying tall through my, my butt and my, um, and my head right here. All I'm trying to do is kind of drive this hip inwards without actually moving it in that isometric contraction. I'm gonna hold that for 30 seconds. We're gonna repeat on the opposite side. When you do that, try a nice little squat, re-squat as a test, retest, and I guarantee you, you'll probably feel a lot looser into that inner groin and thigh region. Guys, I really hope this helps you out, and until tomorrow, we are Optimizing Function to optimize performance.